first strip is what we call sinus brady, right? Brady cardio. That means low heart rate, low heart rate. A normal strip look like this. And I'll tell you what's the purpose of the strip. Let me get a better black marker. Okay. A normal strip is done to check the what? Conduction of the heart. Of the heart. The firing. We do EKG when the patient come in and complain of chest pain. A normal strip look like this. I'm going to put the line here for you to see it. But in Clex, they won't have this obvious line. Miss Sonia made this obvious line for you. But I'm going to teach you that you don't need the line. Okay? Obvious line. This is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. A normal strip is between 60 to 100. Heart rate. Any question? I don't have to go 70, 80, 90, 100. It is understood. Right? Now remember, NCLEX will not have this line here. I did it for your eyes to help you. Now, Miss Sonia, if the line is not there, how will I know where it begins and where it ends? Ready? Each strip, this is the peak. This is the Q, this is the R, this is the S, this is the T. The P, the Q, the R, the S, and the T. The P, the Q, the R, the S, and the T. So I don't have to put this line here. A P, a Q, a R. A S and a T, a P, a Q, a R, P, Q, R, S, T. Any question? Row one, question. You. There is no you. <laughs> ah, don't she ain't, but that's what the school teacher. Hold on to that. Hold on to that word. Second row, any question with a normal strip? A P, a Q, a R, a S, and a T. A P, a Q, a R, a S, and a T. So every time you're going to go to, when you go to NCLEX, they give you a strip. The first thing you're going to do, check your heart rate. One, two, three, four, five, six. 10 times 6 is what? 60. 60. So right now, you know, anytime you see a heart rate, 60, 70, 80, 90, the patient is in good condition. good condition. After you check your heart rate, you're going to check, do I have my P, my Q, my R, my S, and my T, a P, a Q, a R. A S and a T. So anytime NCLEX give you a strip, what's the first thing you're going to do? Check the heartbeat. 
And he questioned. And he questioned. The second thing you're going to check is what? My P, my Q, my R, my S, and my T. And he questioned. We cool? Now, the first strip. Yes. We go. Keep your you way. Keep that. Keep that. I'm going to give to you. The first strip is called sinus brady cardio. That means low heart rate. Now, low heart rate is only good at times if I just had a baby. If I had, after I just had a baby, my heart rate going to always be low. But me, you, old people, young people, people, your heart rate should never be what? Low. So let's go. It looked, the strip sinus Brady looked like this. Go by the rules. What's the first thing I'm going to check? How many heart rate? Count it. Four. So 10 times four is what? 40. So the heart rate is 40. And that is called sinus brain. Inclex asks you, what do you give for this is called nursing intervention, and I see. What do you do when the patient has low heart rate? But you got to see who's the patient. If I just had a baby, that is considered what? Good job. I'm a teenager that play volleyball, and I work out. My heart rate is 40. Normal. Normal. Normal for people who play sports. Low heart rate for people who play sports. Normal. Now, I'm a 24-year-old. Let's say 50. I'm 50-year-old. And my, turn off the phones. Turn them off, please. And your heart rate is low. Your nursing intervention is rest. Oxygen, atropine. Atro oh, they don't put atropine, they put anti energy. Now, if atropine is given for low heart rate, oh, bon Dieu. So when you give it, you got to watch the patient for what? Tachycardia. So you're going to observe heart rate on this patient for Taki. Any question? You never give anti-dysrhythmic drugs if the patient don't have a problem with P. Q R S T. Let's go see. You told me there's 40. So patient have heart rate 40. Do I have my P? Yes. Do I have my Q? Yes. Do I have my R? Yes. Do I have my S? Yes. Do I have my T? Yes. Anytime I have my P Q R S T. You never give anti dysrhythmic drugs. Anytime I have my P, Q, R, S, T, you never give anti dysrhythmic drugs. The only time you give anti dysrhythmic drugs when something wrong with P, Q, R, S, T. What's wrong with this patient? Nothing. Nothing? Heart rate is low. That's it. There's nothing wrong with P, Q, 
or ST. So why would you go give epinephrine? You only give epinephrine when something wrong with P, Q, R, S, T. P, Q, R, S, T. Anytime you have sinus brady, sinus tarky, there's nothing wrong with P, Q, R, S, T. There's either low heart rate or high heart rate. Any question? Row one. If you don't understand that, we can't go on. Second row, any question? Third row, any question? Yes, baby, I didn't know. Fourth row, any question? Again. Anti-dysrhythmic drugs are your lidocaine. These are the drugs that are in the crash cart. Lidocaine, epinephrine, I hear you. Norepinephrine, the butamine. Dopamine, amiodarone, oh, oh, bon um, cartia, which is a calcium channel blocker, <coughs> dalizin, if I spell it right. You, you only give these drugs when some when something is wrong with P Q. R-S-T, oh mon dieu, that is low heart rate now. Is he something wrong with P-Q-R-S-T? The only thing with the patient is heart rate is what? No, no, no. So you will not give these drugs. You will give rest, oxygen, okay, atropine. Yes. Car no. Huh? No. It is a dysrhythmia. It is a rhythm. Listen to what she said. Why don't you give cardiazem, which is an anti dysrhythmic drug? Why would you give it here when nothing wrong with what? There's nothing wrong with the rhythm. There's nothing wrong with P. Boy, you only use these drugs when something wrong with P, Q, R, S, T. Me P, me Q, me R, S, T. He just get a de So you don't give it to them. There's nothing wrong with P, Q, R, S, T. Maybe I should write it, right? P, Q, R, S, T. 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 You say only atropine. Why? Why would you give atropine here? No, no. Because the only wrong, what well, only thing wrong with the patient is the heart rate. There's nothing wrong with P Q R S T. You got it. Sinus turkey. Heart rate greater than 100. So that we're going to say the patient heart rate is up 110. He got his P, Q, N. D. Ma pon vui, toi. Kat. Sink. No, but I keep the maki bagayo. Set. I'm going to write them anyways. Jesus. Eight, nine, ten, eight, eleven. What's my heart rate? One ten. Is it something wrong with PQRST? No. no. 
So would you give me these drugs? No. No. What would you give me when I'm sinus talking? Rest. Rest and oxygen. My heart is beating fast because I'm stressed. The bus is coming. So you're running. You're going to go take NCLEX. You stress. So your heart is going fast. Don't give me no medication. You give me rest. Is something wrong with P? Q R S T? No. So you wouldn't give what? You would not give anti dysrhythmic. You only give anti dysrhythmic when something wrong with what? Okay. Any question? That's strip one, strip two, strip three. Strip three is called A B. A fib. Atrial fibrillation. What is happening, Miss Sonia? Let me just tell you. The heart, it's not that it's not firing. There's no P. A fib is irregular heartbeat. That means one day it's high, one day it's low. The heart is beating like this. Look, look. When the heart beats like this, what am I at risk for? Whoa. How blood supposed to flow like what? Water. If the blood, if the heart is beating like this, how is blood flowing? Poor. So you at risk for what? Blood. So the patient got two problems. Two problem. They got a clot problem and they don't have a pee. So here's an AFib strip. No P. No pee wee. So sa se Q R S metia. A fib no P. So here it is. Patient got two problem. One problem, no pee. Because of there's no pee, the heart is doing this. So when the heart is doing this, you at risk for clots. So when you giving me medication, you need to give me two medication because there is how many problems? Two. You gonna give me Coumadin for the what? There's no P, you're going to give me what? The cheapest anti dysrhythmic drug is called amiodarone. It's cheap, it comes in pills. But, amiodarone problem, when you give it to patient, it makes respiration go down. A fib, there's no what? Because there's no P, how's the heart beating? When you at risk for what? So we got to give you how many medications? One for the clock and one for the what? For the rhythm. So let's work on the clock first. So this patient will be on Coumadin for the rest of their life. And Inclex is going to ask you about the PT, INR. Yes, God. You see where that came in? Mm -hmm. That's one. Then they're going to ask you a question about anti dysrhythmia. Anytime you don't fix dysrhythmia, the patient will go into heart failure. So when you give me anti-dysrhythmic drug, you should see me PP. So anytime you give me anti-dysrhythmic drug, you got to measure my output. Because if I'm not pp that means I'm retaining fluid, that means I'm going into heart failure. So one of the criteria for 
antidysrhythmia, you must check my cardiac output. You must weigh me daily because if I'm retaining fluid, baby, I'm going from dysrhythmia to what? Heart? Any question? Row one, any question? I'm going to give it again. Row two. Row three. Yes, ma'am. Okay, on um, AFib, yes, on AFib, the heart rate can be less than, I mean, less than 80. Or AFib or is irregular heartbeat. Heart heart the reason it's irregular heartbeat is because you don't have a P. Okay. You don't have a P. So that means sometimes the heart rate is low, so sometimes the heart rate is high. Because the problem with the P, because the problem is with the P, you find the patient heart does this like flat blood not flowing, so the patient at risk for clots. I say no problem. Say P, lack of P, cause care doing this, the patient have clots. Now, you the, you put the patient on coumadin for the rest of their life for the what? Clot. But did you fix the P? No. See, we got to fix the P. The way we going to fix the P is given that. And that is why patients who have stent, stent, um, pacemaker, at risk for a fib, and that's why they give them a meodorone in the nursing home. LPN, you give it, you say, why is the man getting it? Because the man got a pacemaker. People with pacemaker at risk for A. A, 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 B. Yes. You got it. I'm going to answer it. You got it. Who don't see it? Who don't see it? That Coumadin is for the clock. The no P cause two things. Hey, no bakayu vet for piercing. Wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you something. If you don't know EKG, you better hang it up. You will not get no license. I don't care you PN, RN, whatever M you want to be. You will not pass. Inclex won't ask it to you in words, in scripts, however you want it, baby. They're going to give it to you. A big. That's why when you have a pacemaker, you come in a nursing home, they always give you special amiodarone. Amiodarone is cheap. It's cheap, but it's problematic. Anytime you give amiodarone, check respiration. Any question? Some of you today on first day doing script. It's okay, but you better take it in. Yes. A fib, they go a regular strip. You see the regular strip? There's a P Q R S T. A fib, there's no what? Okay. When there's no P, kea bakunsa. That means shaking. That means blood is not passing. What are you at risk for? There you go. Do you see that? Who didn't get it? We feel it? That's one. Any question? So you give the Coumadin because of the clock. You give anti-dysrhythmic drug. And NCLEX is going to always ask you questions on anti-dysrhythmic. Right when you give me anti dysrhythmic drug, I should pee. Shh. My lungs should be clear. Shh. Anytime you see the opposite, I'm going into heart failure. We got it. Okay? Now. Yes. When you take on fish and a pose manually, and then you start warning, and then you start with people in the ear, or? When you take the pulse manually, and then you can feel it, feel it, and then after you start, and then you go back again. No, we wouldn't say it's because of the P. You got to be careful. For us to say there's no P, 
we need an EKG to actually see it. There could be several reasons, stress, maybe that's the way the patient is. You cannot make that diagnose. Okay? Four. Uh -uh. P. Uh -uh. VC. Let's go in the board. PVC box 50-4. A. Look how beautiful this is. Look. You see my P? Beautiful. My Q? Beautiful. Right? My R? Beautiful. My S? Beautiful. My T? Beautiful. Everything beautiful. True? PVC, that did it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh. That don't buy sideways. Look at your book. Look at that PVC on page 677. Look at it. You see it? Look how ugly it is. Look, right here. That don't buy. V way. Look at it. Look at that, oh, look at the regular. Then, let. Pretty, ugly. Pretty, ugly. Ugly, pretty. Pretty, ugly. PVC, ugly, pretty. Pretty, ooh, ugly. All side legs. Ugly, pretty. This is a normal look at. Oh, that's all right. Now, PVC. Who over there? Who do not have PVC? Over there, raise your hand so I can come show you ugly pretty. Guys, let me tell you something. I don't care if I go on this really slow. If you don't know this, you ain't going to get no test. So I don't care if I go slow. I finish next week. I don't care. My job is for you to know. Okay? Pretty, ugly. Ugly, pretty. You go to normal, that it can't let that come back. Ugly, pretty. Ugly, pretty. Ugly, pretty. Right? Raise your hand. You got it, um, um, darling. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Pretty, ugly. Pretty, ugly. Pretty, ugly. Okay, anybody else? Where? Pretty, that's the normal. Ugly. You see, hey, look at that PVC all sideways. Now, but Inclex know if they give you a PVC, you gonna know what to do. So they don't give it to you in strip. They give it to you in word. By Gemini, try Gemini, quadruplets, they use words. They use words. By Gemini, every other. Try Gemini. What? They use words. What that mean? There's a problem every other. Maybe by, try, quadruple. If you don't see by Gemini, you automatically know they're talking about what? Okay. Now. Listen, PVC, not so bad. It depends when it happened. Let's talk. So, she's my patient, 10 o'clock. She had one PVC, 10 o'clock. At 4 o'clock, that same day, she had another PVC, that's a medical emergency. PVC is bad when you have two in a 24 hour period. PVC is bad to get dead in a 24 hour period. So that same patient, she got PVC at 10 o'clock. She don't have no more PVC today, but tomorrow, she got another PVC, you will continue to document. You only call doctor 
when it's two PVC within one? Any question? You got it? So, PVC in collects Kabawi now strip. You, they can say by Gemini. By Gemini, every other. Try Gemini, every two good one. P Q R S T. P Q R S T, a PVC. You see that? Yeah. Two good one, bad one. You got it? Yeah. Now, Miss Sonia, what drug, what would they do for PVC? Tell me, you tell me what I taught you. What would we give for PVC? anti dysrhythmic because there is something wrong with what? P-Q-R-S-T. And the drug you give for PVC is called lidocaine. Lidocaine. And when I give lidocaine, I need to monitor what? Heart rate and cardiac? Any question? Whether you're better, no company. You see? So if they put, Carol had one PVC in 24 hours. What is your nursing intervention? What you put? Continue to document. Oh. Hold on. My niece called me. She just had an accident. Hold on. Every time the teenagers call you, you shock. Upeh when they driving. Any question? Okay, PVC, we good? So, so far, you learned sinus Brady, sinus Taki, normal sinus, a B. Any question? Yes. Where are you? Right here. So I'm going to erase. Remember, you need to write when I write. <laughs> Don't take no pictures. I'll tell you one thing. Because I need to, I'm going to leave the map, but I need to move. Because I told you, you need to write when I write. Nursing one. I'm going to leave the dopamine. Ma'am, you're going to have to sit. You got to write when I write. College 101 is you must know how to take notes. This whole time I've been working, you ain't been writing. No, we got to move. You never can see. Then you, no, no, we got to move. All, this is what I was talking the whole time. Write. Okay, so you going to get up to look at the drugs. No, because she was standing here. You can walk up here at lidocaine, epinephrine, the butamine, dopamine, and the other one, cartia, or cardiazam, or dialazam. Yellow, this is not in your green book because they don't ask our LBN on the drugs. Our N is on your book. It's in the yellow book. It's not in the PN book, but I teach you. They ask you questions, but it's not in your book.
Okay. Now we go on to PVC. Not PVC, excuse me, VT. VT. Okay? VT. Now, VT look like McDonald's French fries. So Inclex never give it to you because it looks like this. Oh, why is my markers? They're all good. Something is wrong with this cleanser. Oh. Wow. Okay. Look in your book. Let this dry a little bit. Look in your book for the VT. You're going to see like a, it looked like a fence. You see the McDonald's? Looked like the French fry. Now, inklets do not give you that. Why? Because the students will recognize it like that. No, I'm going to tell you. Hold on. Let me tell you what was your question. Okay. Let me, give me a minute. I'm nervous. My niece. I, she called me a lot of times, so I hope she didn't get in the I'm going to have this carry call. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I don't put my phone. 